as you can see here we got a little CD duplication machine <clears throat> and we're making up some CDs we haven't done this in quite some time and it's uh, yeah and uh, yeah now we got a cover here for the single dot execute these are exclusive to the CD there's an extra track on the CD that won't be available digitally so we're doing these and and uh, yeah doing these and uh, this is kind of what we're doing you don't, you don't actually need uh, these replication machines you can do it on your computer if you still have a uh, CD burner but uh, I have one of these that I haven't used in a few years and uh, I figured I would do something a little different do something a little special and <clears throat> DIY this whole this uh, this thing and we'll see if people actually want it I'm only doing a limited number uh, for now if, if there's more if there's a if there's interest then I'll do more but uh, for now it's only going to be about 30 copies of this and then we'll see after that we'll gauge how interested people are in this stuff and uh, whether I actually continue to move forward with physical or just do digital with extra features and stuff like that uh, as you can see here this uh, this I went into work I designed this on my computer using uh, Photoshop and uh, Publisher, Publisher for the final pieces in Photoshop for the uh, video or uh, image editing and all that kind of stuff. And there's a back piece there. I am going to cut all these out probably with scissors because uh, I don't have a proper cutting machine or whatever the fuck you want to call it, cutting board, so I'm just going to do it with scissors. Uh, that's the way I used to do it in the past, and that's the way we're doing it now, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope it didn't ruin that. Sorry. Fuck. Sometimes that happens in this machine, it doesn't pick, it doesn't drop the thing properly, so it's, it doesn't end up in this tray over here, so hopefully the disc isn't really well, I'll have to listen to it and see if it's alright. Oh, it looks like it's got a scratch on it. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I'm going to pop it in my CD player and just double check if it's alright. Hopefully it is. If not, then, <laughs> fuck it. 29 copies! <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah so if you're if you're doing stuff like this uh, granted this is the old way of doing things uh, you know you just create a photocopy thing you cut it out throw it into a CD thing that has these little uh, cover uh, things so that you can pop a little cover in here and yeah, that's 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 pretty much how it's done. So it's, it's fairly easy. Basically, what I did for this time around, I have the songs, rendered them into WAV files and also MP3s. Brought the MP3s into uh, a, a custom playlist in iTunes. Burnt that playlist to a master CD, and then imported the master CD into this. This is an extra process. You could actually just do this with your uh, your uh, your uh, just a sec. Use this. Okay. This is an extra process. You could do it with your your computer's uh, CD burner. This just makes it well sort of easier because it's 
automated and I don't have to do a lot of stuff other than grab the disc from here because it obviously doesn't fall into the sink properly but and then you just do up your artwork and you, I mean you can do artwork in different all kinds of different software the size specs for this CD tray stuff CD cover is usually 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters uh, and you just make sure your artwork is in that size and then you cut it out and pop it in and maybe label your disc and then close it up and you're good to go so okay so I'm not <clears throat> I'm not gonna show you the entire process but I am cutting these uh, these uh, covers and interior uh, with scissors as you can see here as you can see and that's basically all you do is you have your burning device whether that's your computer your CD ROM in your computer or it's one of these disc maker type deals where they it's kind of it's semi automated you burn your discs and then your discs are done burning I will label the discs after this. This one's labeled. This was the master I used for that to put in there. And label each disc. And then, after cutting that out, this is what the final package looks like. Uh, and as you can see, open it up. It opens up nicely and there's all that stuff in there. So that, that's it. I'm gonna label this. I'm gonna label these, all these afterwards. Uh, but that, that is essentially how you DIY your own little uh, uh, physical CD stuff. That's pretty much what it is. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. If you feel this uh, video has value, please share. And if you feel this channel has value, please give it a like. And hit that bell button to be notified when the next video comes out. So see you in the next video.